guys. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening to everyone. Um, thank you very much for being here on time. Once again, guys, I'm going to have my camera off because in the place where I live, it's raining a lot and the internet well. So in order for me to have a good signal, I need to have my camera off. If not, the internet gets really, really bad. So, but I'm gonna be here, okay? So my first question, can you listen to me? No, teacher. You can hear me? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Do you listen to me now? Yes, I can listen. Oh, okay, great. Sorry. Um, as I was saying, the internet is not working that well because in the place where I live, it's raining a lot. So um, that's the reason why I will have once again my camera off. But thank you so much for the ones that are already here and the, uh, always for your punctuality and your responsibility. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Now, uh, thanks for the three of you, Luis Montano, Andrea, and Rodrigo. Thank you so much for that. You're always on time. I see that now we have Christian who is connecting right now. Welcome, Christian. And... Uh, well, I'm hoping the other ones to connect throughout the session. So as usual, guys, today we're going to have a practice about yesterday's class. What do you guys remember about yesterday's class? What was that about? Um, for example, I remember different professions different and profession. vocabulary mm -hmm. and and review, use any and some. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. What about you, Christian? What do you remember? Um, good evening. Good evening, Christian. <laughs> uh, I, I remember... Uh, transport? Transport. Uh huh. What is that? Transport. Uh, uh, again, birds. Uh huh. And I am a thing. Cosas de la casa. No me recuerdo. Las cosas de, de la casa, no me recuerdo cómo se llama. Hola. Hola. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. So I was I was talking about yesterday's class, la clase de ayer. We didn't ah, see that gracias. yesterday. Ah. Ajá. Uh -huh. De la clase de ayer. Yeah, eh, ayer vimos, ¿cómo se llama? Profession, ¿no fue? Yeah, we saw professions, ok. Only, ¿verdad? Profession. Ok, only professions. Good. Uh, Andrea, I know that you were not here yesterday, but did you see the classes like on YouTube? Did you see that? Yes. Eh, no, teacher, ayer yo no me pude conectar a la clase porque como vivo, digamos, que en el cerro, tengo problemas con la conectividad del Wi-Fi y el Internet por las lluvias. Entonces, ayer sí no pude conectarme. Me había enviado captura de pantalla en el, en el chat que no podía accesar a la plataforma. 
por ende okay. no, no pude ingresar. Ok, no, I, I understand that, but I, my question is, did you watch, si viste la clase grabada, so you have an idea, si tienes una idea de qué estamos hablando, right? No, no vi la clase grabada tampoco. Really? So what happened? So, uh, so probably you're kind of lost right now. Probablemente estés un poco perdida ahorita. So, but, that, but that's okay. Es so, correcto. <laughs> all right. So, my, my advice to you is that uh, please try to, when you don't, yeah. when you do not watch the, the class online or you are not present in the class, it's okay if you watch the, you know, the, the class recorded on YouTube. If not, you're going to be lost, okay? But this time I'm, I'm going to understand that probably, as you said, the connection or the internet is not, is not working well. So uh, let's see for the others. I see that some other people just connected in the call. Welcome guys. So let me ask you a question. Uh, let me just see who else connected here. I see that Tony, I see Claudia Maria, I see Rocio, welcome. I see Luis Chavez. Uh, thank you so much for being here, guys. Now, let me ask you a question, Luis Chavez. What do you remember about yesterday's class? Luis Chavez? You yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm, I remember uh, fueron las palabras de 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 cómo se cómo se dice pero cuando lo, lo que trabajan fotógrafo ingeniero okay jobs and occupation we're gonna say. Las profe los profesiones okay jobs and occupations all right, that's good. So we're gonna have a practice right now. Vamos a tener una práctica. So I need everyone to have paper, pen, and pencil or whatever. You let me know when you're ready. Me lo hacen saber cuando ya todos estén listos, please. Hey, I'm ready, teacher. Ready, thanks so much, ready. Rocio. Ready, Andrea, okay. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, I'm ready. Claudia, Georgina. I'm ready. Chano, Rodrigo, Christian, thank you so much. Okay. okay, let me let me just check what we're going to do. Remember. Teacher se queda en mood. I'm Está yendo el audio. Sí, se escucha entrecortado. Teacher, no se le escucha. I'm sorry, guys, but internet here, it's not working that well. That's, I'm very sorry for that. I mean, it's raining a lot, and sometimes uh, Zoom is not responding the way I was expecting that. But we're going to do our best. That's why I have my camera off. Es por eso que tengo mi cámara apagada. Because if I have it on, si la tengo encendida, internet won't work at all. So you know, los que tienen claro pueden, verdad, entender la frustración, the frustration there. So, okay. <laughs> all right. So just give me a moment and let's see what we're gonna have. So I will give you, les voy a dar 10 profesiones, 10 professions, what we're going to do is that I'm going to say it in Spanish and you write it in English. Welcome, Carlos Argueta. So we're going to do a practice, Carlos. I don't know if you listen to, to what I said. No sé si escuchas lo que dije. The instructions? Uh, sí, la de ahorita sí. Okay, good. So we're going to do 10, 10 uh, professions or occupations. Vamos a tener... Uh, Yes, necesito que las escribas en un cuaderno or if you're using your phone or notes or whatever you're using. But you have to send proof. Van a tener que enviar siempre una captura de pantalla or a picture through the WhatsApp group so I can see that you were working para confirmar que sí estuvieron trabajando. So, 
I will say it in Spanish and then you write it in English. Y lo escriben en inglés. Okay, so ready? Todos listos? Yes, ready. Yes. Ready. Okay. Yes. okay, good. Let's go. Empezamos. Number one, número uno, detective. Detective. Okay, that's number one. Now let's move on to number two. Contador. Contador. Contador is gonna be number two. Okay, now let's go to number three. On number three, we have Carpintero. Carpintero. We have Carpintero. Okay, so I guess that's enough. Now let's go to number four, numero cuatro. Let's see. Okay, so we have plomero, plomero, plomero. Okay, how many do we have? ¿Cuántos tenemos? How many do we have right now? Four, right? Four. Four. Okay, good. Now, let's go to number five. Número... Cinco, number five, we go with Cazador. 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 Okay, now we move on to number six, número seis. And there we have monje, monje, monje. Okay, now we go to number seven. Number seven, we go to albañil. We go to Albañil. Albañil. Brick, brick layer. Don't say it. Don't say it, Luis. <laughs> okay, ya Luis les ayudó ahí en una, ¿verdad? Okay, number eight. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> it's okay, Luis. It's okay. Number eight. Pensaste en alto. Number eight. Let's go with. Estilista, estilista, estilista. Okay, now, number nine, number nine, number nine, we go with Periodista, periodista, periodista. And the last one, y la última, number 10, we're going to have juez. Juez, it's going to be number 10, juez. So, now you have one minute to send the picture through the WhatsApp group. Go ahead, please. I'm going to be checking right here if you send it.
Okay, I already received some of you. Let's check. Uh, let's see. I receive already Rocio. I receive already. Let's see who else. I receive uh, Christian. I receive Rocio. I receive who is this? Andrea. I receive Rodrigo. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting for the others. I'm still missing Georgina, Tony, Claudia, Luis. Okay, I received some others right now. Okay, so. I received the majority, I guess. All right, so thank you so much for the ones that are already sent it. Okay. Now, so that's the practice that we're going to have for today, guys. And now we're going to move on to today's topic. Now, today's topic, guys, is going to be about WH questions. Now, when you listen to that, what comes to your mind? What do you guys think when you listen to WH question? Any volunteer? Repeat, please, teacher. Okay, so today's topic is going to be about WH questions. When you listen to that WH questions, what comes to your mind or what do you think? A question like, uh, what, who, when, the beginning, okay. the world. Okay, good. What else? Someone else? Someone else? How much? How many? How okay. Much? Okay, good. Someone else? Alguien más? Have any idea? Where también? Where? Okay. So we only listen to Christian and Rocio. What about the others? Do you guys have any idea? Uh, why, también? Why, okay. Which? Okay. Which? Okay. Where? 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 Mm -hmm. How? What? Okay. Okay, good. So I see that you guys have idea of what I'm talking about. So let me just share share the screen with you so you can see what we're talking about. So we are on the middle today, guys. Ya llegamos a la mitad de las clases. And so we are in the middle. Today is our class number eight. So can you guys see the screen? Todos pueden ver la, la pantalla. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so now, as you can see there, we have WH questions. Today, we're going to see each one of them. Vamos a ver cada una, and we are going to understand how to use it. Vamos a tratar de entender cómo utilizarlas. Some of them are probably not that common for you. And here we have, here we have to the most common ones. Aquí tenemos a las más comunes, but me falta una. ¿Quién me puede decir, who can tell me what is the one I'm missing? ¿Cuál es la que me falta?
Ajá. Nobody, nadie tiene ni idea. What is the one I'm missing? Guys, nobody, nadie. No. No. Let me just write it down. One we were missing is this one. Whose? Do you have any idea what whose means? Whose? What does it mean whose? <laughs> Do you know the meaning of whose? No. No? No. Okay. When we say whose, we're talking about the king. Okay. okay. That's the meaning of whose, the king. But most of the time, la mayoría de veces la vamos a utilizar para saber las pertenencias, the belongings of someone. For example, if you want, if I want to, to say, si yo quiero decir, ¿de quién es este teléfono? I'm going to say, whose cell phone is this? So this WH question is not that common, no es muy común, but it's very important that you know how to say it or that you know that it exists. Now, uh, I would like to listen to the pronunciation of all the WH questions that we have here. So I need everyone to participate and we are going to start by Georgina. Georgina, can you please go ahead and make the pronunciation of all of them following this order? We're gonna start from here and we're going to go all the way here and we're gonna finish here. So let's go. Was whose whose mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. what okay when which where how okay we why why okay now we're gonna go with Rocio. Who's? Okay. Who? Okay. What? Okay. When? Which? Where? How? Why? Okay. Good. Now we're gonna go with Rodrigo. Okay. Who's? Mm -hmm. Who? Who? Mm -hmm. What? Okay. When? Okay. Which? Where? How? Why? Okay, now we're gonna go with Luis Chavez. Who's, who, what, when, which, where, how, why? Okay, now Christian. Okay, who's, who, what, when, which, where, how, and why? Claudia. Okay, uh, who, mm -hmm. who, what, when, which, where, how, Okay. And Okay, Carlos Roberto. Who's, who, what, when, which, where, who, why. Andrea Presa. How, how, what, when, which, where, how, why. Okay. 
Melissa. Okay. Uh, who's, who, what, when, which, where, how, why. Okay. Tony? Okay, I guess he's not there. Luis Montano. Who's? Okay. Who? Mm -hmm. What? When? Which? Where? How? Mm -hmm. Why? Okay, guys. Thank you so much for participating now. Let me tell you something. This one right here, esta de acá. I will ask you the favor not to say, por favor, no digamos how. Okay? How? Because, and let me, let me explain you why. Si ustedes, chicos, dicen eso, están diciendo una... Hasta cierto punto, una cosa sexual y vulgarizada en inglés. Ok. So, la pronunciación correcta de esta no es how, es how. How. Ok. How. Please. It's very important that you know how to say that. Porque imagínese que usted va a hacer una pregunta y en vez de preguntar how, usted dice how, automáticamente va a estar diciendo una vulgaridad. So please, we got to be careful with those things. Now, let me repeat to you the pronunciation. And here we have who's, who's, who, who, what, what, when, when, which, which, where, where, how, how, and why. All right. Why? So for the next time, para la próxima vez, if you have a word or si ven alguna palabra like this, que empieza con the WH question how, please remember that the correct pronunciation is how, not how, please. So we're going to start with this. It's very important, very, very important that you know that WH questions can never be answered with a yes or no. Nunca podemos responder con sí o no una WH question, okay? For example, if I ask you, whose cell phone is this? ¿Quién es este teléfono? Usted no me va a responder yes, not right, because it doesn't make sense at all. Doesn't make sense. So every single time that you have a WH question, remember that you are never going to say yes or no. That's not possible. Okay? Good. Okay. Now, we're going to move on. And we're going to start with who. Vamos a empezar con who. And this one, it equals to when we want to know the name of a person. Cuando queremos saber el nombre de una persona, we say who, quién. For example, who is he? Quién es él? Who is he? And we say, he's my teacher. Okay, so every single time that we have a question with who, is because we want to know the name of a person. Now, we have here the most common examples, los ejemplos más comunes using the WH question who. So I'm going to ask in this case to Rocio to help me reading example number one, number two, and number three. Then I'm going to have Melissa with numbers four, number five, and number six. And we're going to have Luis Chavez with number seven and number eight. So go ahead, please. Okay. How are you? Say it again. How is he or how is she? Who is your best friend? 
No, we stop it there. No. Now, who is the next person? Melissa? Okay. Who is calling? Mm -hmm. Who wants some ice cream? Okay. To ask the question. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Now we go with Luis. Who is fa faster? Mm -hmm. The next one. Who, who is the most beautiful? Okay, good. Thank you so much. Now, another thing, guys. Otra cosa muy importante. When we make questions, cuando hacemos preguntas like WH questions, we have to make the intonation of a question. Tenemos que hacer una entonación de pregunta. Why? It's important. Even in Spanish, incluso en español, hay veces, no sé si les ha sucedido, que alguien les pregunta, ¿me estás preguntando o me estás afirmando? Why? Because probably the person didn't understand. No entendió que usted le hizo una pregunta. So the same happens in English. We have to make the intonation of a question. For example, who are you? Who are you? Who is she? Who is he? Who is your best friend? Who's calling? Who is calling? So we have to make the intonation of a question at the end. So... Is there any question, alguna pregunta that you might have so far or any vocabulary that you did not understand from the ones that we have here? Or are we clear? No teacher. Clear? Clear. Okay, good. Now, let's see. We're going to move on to the next one. Nos movemos al siguiente and here we have what? Every single time that we use what is because we want to know the name of an object, the idea, or an action. For example, we say, what is that? What is that? We say, it is or it's a pencil. Now, we're going to have some examples right here. And I'm going to have Christian for number one, two, three. Carlos Roberto, three, four, uh, no, four, <coughs> and Rodrigo, seven, eight, nine. Go ahead. Okay. What it is? I'm what sorry? is? What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. What this or what that? Okay. What day is it? Okay. Thank you so much. Now we'll go with. Who's the next one? Carlos? Hi. Hi. What is the weather like? Mm -hmm. What do you want to eat? Okay. What are you doing? Okay. Now, Rodrigo. What time is it? Okay. What do you do? Mm -hmm. What does your father do? Okay, good. Now, is there any question about any part of the vocabulary here? Uh, what does it mean? Uh, weather. El clima. Weather. Clima. Weather. Clima. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, we're going to move on. And here we have when. When, we're going to use it when we want to know the time. And when we say the time, it's because we want to know about a period of time. Queremos saber algo del tiempo, for example. When does class start? Cuando inicia la clase? It starts at three o'clock. A las tres en punto. So every single time that we want to know about a period of time, 
en un periodo de tiempo or something like that, we are going to use the WH question one. We also have some examples here. In this moment, I will need, let me see, uh, Luis Montano for number one, two, and three. I will also need, uh, let me see, who else? Luis Chavez for four, five, and six. And we are going to have once again, well, Andrea Presa for seven, eight, nine. Go ahead. When is your when is your birthday? Birthday, yes. When is the field trips? Okay. When when does mm -hmm. the movie start? Okay. Who is the next one? When does the train arrive? Arrive. Arrive. When do you your homework? Okay. Uh, when are you free? Thank you so much. Now we'll go with Andrea. When were you born? When okay. is their anniversary? Mm -hmm. When does uh, the class finish? Okay, good. Now, is there any question about vocabulary? No? No. Homework? Homework? Tarea. Homework? Tarea. Yes, homework means tarea. Now, I'm going to repeat them. When is your birthday? When is the field trip? When does the movie start? When does the train arrive? When do you do your homework? When are you free? When were you born? When is their anniversary? When does the class finish? Okay, so those are some common examples of using the WH question when. Okay, now we're going to move on to WH question where. When we use where is because we want to know about the name of a place or a location. For example, where are my books? They are on the desk. ¿Dónde están mis libros? Ellos están en el pupitre. They're on the desk o escritorio. So here we have some other examples. And right now I'm going to need, so Christian, you will have number one, Andrea Presa number two, Carlos Roberto number three, Claudia Maria number four, Georgina number five, Rocio number six, Rodrigo number seven, Luis Chavez number eight, and who else? Let me see, uh, Melissa number nine. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, where is my pencil case? Okay, number two. Number two. Andrea. Sorry, let me mute. Okay. Where are my glasses? Okay. Where is the office? Oh, we stop it there. Thank you. So where is the post office? Okay, good. She helped you there. Now we we'll go with the next one. Where are you from? Okay. Who is the next one? Who is the next one? Rocío. La mía es la siguiente, teacher. So let's let's have Rocío then. No, I mean um, Rodrigo. 
Okay. Uh, where is he or she from? Okay. Where are they from? Okay, the next one. We... <laughs> okay, do it again. Okay. Where uh, do you work? Okay, do the next one, Rodrigo. Okay, where do you want to go? Okay, thank you. And the last one? Where is Canada on the map? Where is Canada on the map? Okay, thank you very much. Now we move on to why. And here, when we use why is because we want to know the reason or purpose about something. For example, why are you so happy? ¿Por qué estás tan feliz? So every single time that we that someone asks you a question using why, you will have to answer. Ustedes siempre deben responder con because. So every single time, okay? Why? And you said because. For example, let's see. Uh, Rocio, if I ask you the question, why are you sad? Why are you sad? What would you say? Te respondería. Me repite no la pregunta, teacher, por favor. Why are you sad? Because I uh stomach charge. Okay. Dolor de stomach, you wanted to say, right? Yes. yes. Stomach I ache. Have... Stomach ache. Right. Good. Here we have some common examples. In this one, we're going to start by Claudia Maria, number one, Andrea, number two, Christian, number three, Melissa, number four. We have Luis Chavez, number five. We have Luis Montano, number six, Georgina, seven. Rodrigo eight and Christian nine. Go ahead. Okay, number two. Why, why are you crying? Okay, good. Why are you laughing? Laughing. Laughing. Okay. What are you laughing? Good. Thank you. Number four. Why are you late? Okay. Number five. Why was Chris not at school yesterday? Say it again, please, Luis. Why are you? No, 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 Luis Chavez. I'm... Right now, Luis Chavez. Why was Chris... why? Okay, why? You were saying way. Estabas diciendo way. So we say why. Yes, teacher. Okay. Why? Why was Chris not at uh, school yesterday? Okay. Why, Christian? Okay. No, just kidding. No, it's just... okay. <laughs> Porque la pregunta dice por qué Christian no estaba en la escuela ayer. Now, who has the next one? ¿Quién tiene la siguiente? Why are you running? Running. Running. Okay, good. Who's the next one? Why do we? Mm -hmm. We will we we'll listen that like you were talking, se escuchó que estabas hablando, then we didn't listen. Well, so I will say that why do people exercise? Now, who has this one? The next one. 
Why do we need to study English? Why do we need to study English? Okay, good. And the last one? Okay. Why do you think he did that? Why do you think he did that? Now, any question? Alguna pregunta, chicos? Si puede poner la, la lámina anterior, teacher, por favor. Yes, sure. I guess that's that's good. So we're going to move on to the next one. And we finished pretty much with this one. We're gonna see some others uh the the WH questions by by themselves are like this one, which for example, it's like when we give a choice. For example, let's say that you have uh option number one and option number two. So basically means that when you ask a question with which is because you have more than two options. For example, you have option number one and option number two, or you can also have an option number three. So for example, which one do you want? El niño le pregunta, ¿cuál quieres? Refiriéndose al ice cream. For example, we have two options. We have the option yellow and we have the option red. So the little girl says, I want the red one. Quiero el rojo. Why? Because we have two options. So every single time that we have options, we are going to use which. Now, here we have some common examples as well. And we're gonna start with Andrea Presa number one. Carlos Roberto, number two, Claudia Maria, number three, Christian, number four, Rocio, number five, and Melissa, number six. Go ahead. Andrea? Any cual, perdón? Number one. Number one. Which one do you prefer? Prefer. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Number two. Which teacher do you like the most? Okay. Good. Number three. Okay. Which of my books was you like to borrow? Okay. Number four. Number four. Perdón, Which mm -hmm. one is it? Which one is it? Okay, number five. Which one is it to the library? The library. Library. Okay. Which one is it to the library? Good. And the last one? Which restaurant show we go to? Okay, which restaurant shall we go to? All right, so is there any question regarding to vocabulary in this part? Um, that means shall. Shall, or... shall. Okay, when we say which restaurant shall we go to? This one is la forma informal de decir should. Por si yo quiero decir deberíamos ir. Instead of saying should, que es formal, as personas tienden a utilizar shall. For example, which restaurant shall we go to? O es utilizada generalmente por las personas de la realeza para también referirse a una forma un poquito educada en ciertos sentidos. Okay. So that's, that's the meaning of that. Now, we're going to stop there, guys, with the WH questions, but we are going to go to the exercises because we're going to have exercises for today. So just let me go ahead and show you the exercises that we're going to have. And, and we, can, we can do that. So time is running, guys. We don't even feel the time. We have the first exercise. So just let me present it to you. You know what to do. You just take a screenshot of 
of that. And you let me know when you're ready so I can move to the next one. So this is number one. Can I move to number two? Okay, this is number two. So what I need you to do in these ones, lo que necesito que hagan en estas es, ya tienen la respuesta acá, crear una pregunta en base a la respuesta, based on the answer. So that's what you're going to do. So those are the only two. Yes. En anteriores responder las preguntas o ordenar las las palabras. It's order, first of all order, but tenemos una pista acá. We have a clue. Question, okay. simple present. So you pay attention to that. All right. So that's going to be pretty much the exercises that we're going to have for today. So just let me go ahead and create the breakout room so you can all move to that. But um, we're going to move this person here, and we're going to move this person here. So go ahead, please.
Did you finish? Did you guys finish the exercises? Did you finish or no? Oh no. You didn't. Okay. Melissa, did you finish the exercises? Yes, teacher. You finished. Okay, good. That's great. So um, we're just waiting for the others to come back to the main session. Because I can still see that some of them are in the groups. Okay, I see that the majority is back. Okay, guys, uh, did you complete the exercises? The others? No? No, no teacher. teacher. No, no teacher. teacher. You didn't. Okay, so if you didn't, si no los terminaron, uh, tell me who did. ¿Quiénes sí lo terminaron? Tell me. Melissa, she said that she finished. What about the others? ¿Qué hay de los demás? No, teacher. Nosotros quedamos a medias también. Okay. So, Georgina, she said she didn't. Andrea, did you finish? Or Carlos Roberto? No? No, teacher. Las cinco nos quedamos. Okay. Good. So that means that that is going to be a homework for tomorrow. Eh, lo de las preguntas que les, les daba la respuesta y que hicieran la pregunta, that is going to be a homework. Esa va a ser tarea para el día de mañana. That's the only one, okay? So uh, another thing that I wanted hey, to is that uh, do not forget, guys, that you have to keep working on the platform because for tomorrow you are going to have calibration. So, and that means that tomorrow they are going to check your progress, okay? So, please keep working on that. And that is going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for attending to the class and have a good night. Thank, Thank you. Okay, good night. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Good night. Good night.